Hi everyone, it's Smitha. I am Glam Smitty on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. And today I'm really excited because I'm doing this video in collaboration with Millie, aka Bad to the Brow, on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok as well. And I asked Millie if she might be up for doing a custom palette collaboration with me um, where we each build a spring custom palette. And she graciously said yes. She came up with the idea of the theme being April showers and I love this idea. And um, I'm sure that all of you know Millie or Bad to the Brow, but she does some incredible work over on her YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. She creates looks, she does flat lays, she does color stories, she kind of does it all, and she also loves indie makeup like I do. Oh yeah, and she also does comparisons. But anyway, if you're not following her, I definitely recommend that you check out her socials and let's go ahead and hop into it. So I thought I would go ahead and show you what um, I, I actually for this went on to Pinterest and looked at some images to try to get some inspo. Um, and I came across this image here and I thought it was perfect because basically what I wanted to kind of encapsulate was um, spring colors, but um, because we were doing the theme April showers, I wanted there to be some darkness in there as well. And yeah, I just really thought that this would make a beautiful color scheme. So that's where my inspo came from. All right. And um, I have a very large singles collection, so I thought I would pare it down by choosing, picking out shades from one brand. So I picked out Shine by SD, and these are my mattes from Dandelions. So I'm going to pick out the mattes first, and then we'll go ahead and show the shimmers that I picked out. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the matte shadows. I've talked about how much I love Dandelions shadows before. I love this shade selection, the price point, and how blendable they are on the eyes. They are powdery, so that does affect the way that they swatch and how they pick up on the brush. But like I said, I just love the performance and they are constantly coming out with new shades. So yeah, um, I think I'll be able to pick out the shades that I want just by staying within that realm of dandelions and so i'm gonna make this an even split of mattes and shimmers um, after i pick the mattes i'll show you the shimmers that i selected i i picked out a whole bunch that i'm gonna go through um, and select six from um, all shine by sd also just to make this a little bit easier to pick shadows on camera so I think that it's important that I have both light and dark shadows um, in the greens, pinks, and kind of bluey um, teal category. So um, this is the first shadow that kind of popped out to me um, that I think would be perfect for the theme. This is called Chlorophyll. And so I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside. And then I want a really nice deep green matte as well. This is another favorite of mine. This is the shade Wispus. So I think that will be also perfect for the theme. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick a couple of pink shades. I might go back and change my mind later which ones I want those to be. This is the shade Rosa. And then let's see, I want a deeper one as well. This is the shade Flourish. I think that one will be pretty. And now I want a couple of kind of teal like shades or at least one teal. This is the shade um, Coastal. It's kind of like an in-between blue teal shade. I think that'll be good for the theme. So again, this is my inspo picture. So I think we're doing pretty good so far. 
And then I almost wonder if kind of a lighter blue shade would go well with this color scheme. Ooh, I like this one. This is another kind of like in between kind of bluey green, but more pastel. And this is the shade Polywog. Yeah. So this is what my matte kind of backbone is looking like so far. And I'm not gonna put it in the palette until the end. Okay, so those are my six. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the palette that I have my shimmers in. All right, so I picked out this, um, all of these shadows um, just so that I had a whole bunch to select from. And I'm gonna try to make sure that I have some of each shade category, so greens, pinks, and teals. So the first shadow that's kind of popping out to me is this one here. This is a black base multi-chrome, or I don't know if it's a true black base multi chrome, but it's really deep and it has that kind of in between bluey green appearance to it. This is the shadow um, or the shade called Freedom. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in with the other shades just to see how it's looking. And then this really bright green or sorry, pink is um, popping out at me. Ooh, this is a pretty one. I think this is one of the fantasy shades. Yeah, this is the shade Obsession. And it has like a kind of pink to yellow gold type of shift in it. And I'm going to swatch all of these at the end. So we'll see what they look like all together. Um, and then let's see. Here's another one that's jumping out to me. I think this is another fantasy shadow. Oh, actually this is Moonlight Magic, which is a newer one. And this is the shade Illumination. Okay, really like how that's looking so far. And then let's see, I have three more that I wanna pick. So, ooh, this one's really pretty too. Um, this is the Divinity Collection and this is the shade Catch Up. And then, let's see, I have green, pink, blue, and teal. So now it's just a matter of which category that I want more of. I really like this sort of light pink shade. I think this one will go well with Leela. And this is the shade So Sweet. I like how that goes with those. And then I really wanna pick an iridescent shadow. I did go ahead and sort of select out two from my collection with Shine by SD. Um, this is the shade Lothlorien, which has green, um, kind of greeny gold iridescent, very, very bright. Um, so I think that will go well with the, these, but then I also picked out the shade um, Celestial, um, and I think that will also go well with them. So it's a matter of which do I think I need more of. I think I can always use more green, so I'm going to go with Lothlorien. And then I think I'm ready to, let me just make sure I'm happy with all 12 shades and then I'll pop them in the palette. So let's see. I don't have, you know, an exact method to how I pick what order the shades go in, but I tend to like to go for light to dark most of the time. So I think this is gonna be my top row. forget that YouTube is horizontal. <laughs> so here, here's my top row. 
And then my bottom row, I'm gonna alternate matte and shimmer. So let's see. Okay, I think that's what we're looking like there. I really like this color scheme and I'm excited to see what Millie's looks like. Um, okay, I'm gonna go pop it in the palette. This is a 12 pound palette. This is um, actually an empty palette from my collab with Shine by SD. So let's go ahead and pop these in. Right, and there we have it. There's my color scheme for April showers. And let's go ahead and do swatches. And here's what my palette looks all swatched out. It's always fun seeing multi-chrome swatched out because they look so different than how they look in the pan. Okay, now I'm gonna put these on the eye. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into my look. I wanted to use as many shades as possible to encapsulate the vibe of the palette. Started off with Flourish, which is the deeper pink matte, followed by Coastal, the deepest blue matte, and finally Wispest, that really nice deep green. On the lower lash line, I created a similar gradient, but with the pastel mattes. I used NYX Glitter Primer before applying my shimmers. Then I applied a little shimmer gradient with So Sweet, Illumination, and Catch Up. I really like how these three shimmers blended into one another. Some of these are so sparkly that my camera can't even focus. I put La Forain on the inner corner for a nice bright highlight. And here's the finished look. I really like how this came together and I'm gonna go ahead and take this time to thank Millie for collabing with me. This video was a ton of fun. Please make sure to go check out her video.